Good evening, family. How you doing? This is March 19th, 10.22 p.m. Eastern, Stan ah, Eastern Standard Time Zone in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, in Atlanta, Georgia. Tonight, we're going to be going back down memory lane. Yes, I saw this photograph. It took me way back. Back down memory lane. I see the happiness. I see the pain. Yes, I'm not at my full opticals. <laughs> but I'm sure if you all knew anything about good music, you go on and video Google uh, Minnie Rippleton. Back down memory lane. And as we're going back down memory lane with the housewives for season 12. Okay. Y'all play that record. Or y'all play that. Oh hell. Just play the music. Okay. Or look up the lyrics. And you'll get some good tunes in your ear. Or some good words to see and learn from. Okay. Teachable moments in certain songs back in the old school days. Teachable moments. Okay. That was where the struggle was real. And people really had real issues. And you could feel it through their voice. Through their lyrics. Through their presentation. Of the song that they're rendering. Um, rendering out to us. Yes honey. Back down memory lane. Yes, honey. But we're going to go back because we only have two more episodes for season 12 uh, for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And it have been some pivotal points. It has been some key, key, he, he points. And then it's been some downright embarrassing points for these ladies that sell their souls to be on a ratchet TV show programming um, station. Or franchise just to make that ooh la la foo la la money. Okay. And they start the fake foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty activity all over again. It's called drama. Sensationalizing drama. That these women don't want to go and get a professional job. But they don't win and got their uh, degrees and all of that. Don't want to practice in it. But they want to go and get into the pool of ratchetness and... Just pretty much <laughs> degradation going on. Okay. But in their eyes, they're saying they're playing a character. But in our eyes, it's reality TV. Okay. But I'm going to get into several different um, articles that I had put out. And I'm going to talk to my family. Because my family was good to me. When it was something that they liked that I put out, they responded. Okay. They responded very positively. Very... Um, enlightening and they spoke their truth and did it very respectfully and i gotta shout them out i gotta shout 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 them out because i love them that much okay yes i love y'all that much okay so we're gonna go through this first one i did an article on lonnie you know what man hold up most recent okay most recent we did an article just last night on cynthia bailey's uh, and her man making her look like a fool out in these streets about her businesses and lack thereof professionalism or potential. How her fiance Mark, uh, date not Mark, they Lord, Lord, how much two two spades at the same time? Mike Hill wants to give us. Okay, Annie Nat again, Gannett says, "Wow, he sounds like Kenya." Yes, he do sound like Kenya, honey. They birds of a feather. Feather, they flock together, okay? Then Annie went on to say, City is so desperate for a husband, she keeps making the wrong choices. For one thing, the man have too many female friends. Wake up, Cynthia. I'm not trusting Mike. Just my opinion. And I'm like, Annie, Annie, Annie G, you right on point with me. You right on point with me. You couldn't have said it no better than if I said it myself. God damn it, Annie. Kudos to you, girl. Kudos for being a part of a family affair and putting your opinion in because that's all it is, your opinion. You know, hopefully she'll read it, maybe not, but it's out there in the atmosphere for her to get herself together, get herself together or leave it alone. Okay. Then I did a video about learning love. 
and that drunkard looking of a fiance husband, man for hire, I don't know. Okay, we had Shirley James way in. She says he does look like a broke ass drunk, but that's Lonnie's choice and only she has to deal with it. And I got to say, yes, yeah, Shirley James, you're exactly right. God damn, that made good banter for us, didn't it? Then we get a laugh, then we get a kiki girl. I'm like, ooh, child. <laughs> Lonnie, 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 what are you trying to tell us? But thank you, Shirley, for coming by, putting your stamp on everything, okay? And I'm glad to have you over here at the Family Affair. Give yourself love, kisses, and hugs all the way around, okay, baby? Then I did a video on Cynthia Bailey from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, yeah, I did that one again. Okay, and then we got P.M. Patricia Casey showing out. I'm telling y'all need to read her comments. Okay, they're kind of long-winded. But if you got time to read them, they got truth uh, and spirituality all up in them. But some real truth. Even though it's her truth, I can get with it. I can get with it. But she goes on to say, you know what, Dale? I get the insult. However, it's her stupidity that she put herself out there without doing her homework first. And if you go on... <laughs> she gonna give you a lesson. Stop it, guys. She gonna give you a lesson, lesson in stupidity, morality, creativity, boss woman like moves, spirituality, common sense, and anything else you can throw on the bandwagon. Hold on, guys. I told y'all to stop it now. Share. It's all about sharing. Okay. Whew. Okay. But get down. Again, PMP Patricia Case. I know you're going to be always there because you are PMP. Woo! Go on and dust your shoulders off. Ladies up here, say, go on and dust your shoulders off. Yeah, that's what JC said. Okay, but anyway, moving on. But if you ever wanted to start a YouTube channel, PM Patricia. Okay? Casey, let a sister know because I sure will come over there and support the hell out of you. All right, I'm just saying, I am just saying. Then we move on to a video I did uh the last episode that showed on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 12, episode 18. Greek something hell I don't know but anyway we had Minnie Garcia show up and show out she said I agree with getting rid of Kenya Cynthia and Eva bring back Miss P back meaning P as in Phaedra Pauls honey the double P um let me see that would be a good show to watch new drama. I know, and it'll be a good part for Candy to get her ass chewed up and stole, spit out and stole away. You hear what I'm saying, Minnie? I'll be there for the drama. Yes, I do. Don't want nobody to get hurt. They may feelings may get hurt a little bit, but they, they got into the arena, so they should know they have to catch the fire sometime. But that would be some good ass banter between Phaedra coming back on the flip side and gunning for candy birds as much as she possibly can. And with Nene at the ham, you know it would be some good ass drama there. <laughs> Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. It'll be some good ass drama there. But anyway, thank you, Minnie Garcia, for stopping by. Then we had another video I did uh, saying, Candy Birds, can you more? Are you sellouts or whatnot? We had Pat Mitchell chime in. She said, They need to take the Real Housewives of Atlanta off the air. It's gotten way out of hand. I said, Damn, Pat, what would we do? What would we congregate at the house and talk about? I don't know, girl. I don't know about that. That's just like cutting. That's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. And then the bathwater is on thing nasty. And then the baby ain't nasty. We don't cleaned up the baby. We just need some new hits. We need some new heavy hitters. That's all we need. Um, and we already specify who need to go. They don't spend as much time on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They don't hopefully save some money. Okay. Because everything don't last for always. Everything don't last for always, guys. So, it's like it's time for some new heavy hitters. Okay, we bought Kenya more back, but she need to just go on and go on out the door. Okay, because, ah, just to watch somebody tear somebody down, you know, just for the hell of it. Just for some spotlight time. That's just, it gets old. It really gets old. Whew, but that was just me. I'm just saying, Pat, thank you for stopping by. Thank you. And she gave Leslie Barber, who's another family member who's always active out there. She gave you some laugh emojis. So, I guess y'all were chiming in or, or agreeing with one another. Okay, and that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, then we got another video. 
Oh, uh, why is somebody else responding back from another previous video about Cynthia Bailey? And, you know, might make her look like a fool out in here in these little Atlanta streets out here. We got my Rita Hopkins. Girl, how you doing with that surgery? That arm? I don't know if it's the bad, wouldn't it, girl? If the bad. Ooh, how you, you faring? Oh, girl. But you must be doing a little bit better if you're sitting up here trying to uh, watch my videos, get a key key. But don't let the back hurt now. Take your pain medicine. I don't know if you're doing it the, uh, what do you call it? The non-medical way, not non-medical, non-peel um, popping way, where you're holistic and you're doing meditation and, you know, oils and things of that nature. Okay, that's fine, good, got it, you know, do you, okay? But uh, me, I, I prefer the pills right now. <laughs> I prefer, I prefer the pills because this PT therapy is getting out of hand. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of getting out of hand. Make me want to slap somebody and not in a good way, okay? But uh, she went on and said, okay. Auntie Deb, Chanel, you should be on the show because you are telling the truth about all the fuckery, phony foolishness and calling the masses out. Okay, and she give me all these hearts, these bomb throwings and all this, uh, telling me to speak on it. You would be great putting people in their places, calling them out. Yes, 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 but we already discussed, discussed that. They couldn't hold a character like me, honey, because I be done, went all the way up from the lowest on the totem pole all the way up to the top of the totem pole. And they were like, where we get this woman from? Harpo, where did we get this woman from? Please dismiss, dismiss her ASAP. <laughs> ah! Woo! Okay, yeah, if I was, honey, it wouldn't be no soul selling. And it wouldn't be all this, this chaos going on. We have to find some uh, barriers we shall not cross. So, yes, you would bring the sleeping bell. You would wake up the sleeping bell in me. And then I would have to come and regulate. Okay, because ain't no sense of, you know, folk going around here lying on folks and, and, and telling untruths and want to speak your truth. Uh, but you want to do it in private, meaning, you know, just can your boy, you know. She want to go get married, have a baby and all like that. And then want to come at like everything's chilling. And then even give us a preview of what, a preview, a privy information of what the hell she was doing. For that two years she was married to Mark. Okay, girl, because we could have gave you some insight. Like, no, no, stop, don't do it. No, no, stop. Don't do it. He ain't the one. He ain't from the Lord. Uh uh. That's something you don't put together, baby. Because there's a number chaos, chaos, chaos. Okay? And now you're looking at being a single parent and a statistic. Okay? But it's all good. It's all good. You are landing in very good company. Okay? Because women has been doing it. Oh, for a very, very long time. Okay? But anyway, thank you, Rita Hopkins, girl. Girl. But I stay on this side of the platform, okay? Because I can speak my truth, and then I can turn it off, and it's done, done, and see it. All right? And I get pennies on the dollar for doing the YouTube. At least, like I, like I said, get some groceries up in here, or put something else in my savings, or it pays a bill. However, I choose to do it. But thank you, girl. Thank you for the support. And if you ever want to get a channel, <laughs> let a sister know because I damn sure will be over there uh, hanging out with you, kicking and putting nothing but love in your comment section. Okay, girl. Okay. Then we got DeMonte. Yes. Showed up and showing out showed up late to the party but showing out and being consistent and staying with us okay he went on to say yes he is very suspect bisexual yes miss deb <laughs> how they say a blind man can see a blind man could see that okay thank you baby for stopping by then we got my leslie barber she said and can you miss a ceo of a million dollar hair company owes 281 dollar back taxes on her property and i'm gonna say that's 281 i ain't gonna say that's 281 thousand girl which one is it either or it's piss poor and kenya more need to do better since she runs a multi-million dollar company thank you leslie for weighing in putting your two cents in on the situation okay and then we got is it zanetta mcleod she goes on to say it's a lot of businesses that are owned and operated by people who know nothing about the business i don't understand what the big deal is okay zanetta girl girl Thank you for expressing your opinion. Hear it, got it, loud, good. Okay? But most of the time, unless we are zillionaires and we haven't made that attitude, we still are trillionaires. But until we become zillionaires and we can just afford to lose money, 
it would be very wise for us to try to understand how some type of um we call it idea comes to fruition uh like say we wanted to invest in a tire company we want to know what's the best uh possible tire that's going to accommodate the poorest person all the way up to the creme of the la creme and we want to uh um harness the whole market so we need to do our due diligence and do research okay we ain't got to get all in the finales and and the final details or whatever because it's the idea we want to push out there i understand but see sometimes if you want to be a very astute type business person you got to just know as much as the people that you hire to do the business uh you got to know as much as they know. So you'll know you won't get tricked in the end. Because they know where well, you don't know about this side. You too busy to even worry about that. And they hire me so I can scam some money whenever I get ready. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Why you have all this time on your hands? Because you a zillionaire. It would behoove you as being a smart business woman to try to go take some classes. Okay. I ain't saying get all into the nuts and bolts whatever. Because you can hire probably, uh, what do you call it? how we get these people coming and tutor you could probably go hire somebody like a, a geek specialist or something and they can just give you the quick fast and a hurry speedy rendition of whatever you're trying to sell out there and make like you know a little bit about it in case anybody just wanted to come and step to you such as kenya moore and mark uh, a Mike Hill stepped to Cynthia and made her completely look like a fool. Okay, that's what we need to phase her up in the system. That's what we need to phase her up in the system so she could read her the Southern way. Okay, okay. But that's all I had to say, Zanetta. You made a very good point. I understand where you were going with it. But I just feel people need to, and before they invest their money, unless they're just uh, like a philanthropy type of person and they just want to give money out, then it doesn't matter. Just let me know your organization, your charity organization, so I can keep uh, tabs on it to make sure my money is going to what you say it's going to. Okay. And that is a lucrative as well as uh, on an up and up type of business. Okay, because we don't want bad press, even though we're trying to do good things, philanthropy and all that. Sometimes you can run into some issues, some snags uh, that get you in trouble by participating in alleged, you know, charity or whatnot. But thank you, Leslie. I mean, Zanetta. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, then we got one by Charlene Mitch. She said, Cynthia's is too thirsty for that ugly man. <laughs> <laughs> now Charlene you know everybody ain't ugly girl it's just our perspective on how we look at a person's looks because you could be towed up from the flow up okay but be the genuine most beautiful person you know uh in the inside and it just takes precedence on what they look like on the outside because honey if you got a little money or you got some money honey money can make the ugliest person you deem ugly, beautiful. Okay, money change. The money. Hey, I didn't say money walks. Uh, bullshit talk. No, money talks, bullshit walks. That's pretty much how it is when you get somebody that ain't got nothing. They come into a lot of money and they start looking like something. Girl, big and smalls. That's all I got to say. Big and smalls. Think about it. Full term. Then get back with me. All right. Ah, oh, but thank you for stopping by the house, Charlene. Thank you, girl. Then we got uh, Nadine, Nadine Leo. She expresses, Ken is not educated like Phaedra and cannot go one-on-one -on -one with her in a word-to-word -word battle. Okay? That's why she breaks out crying because she is lost for words. Now, I, girl! That's probably why the skate got on her ass and them uh, Scott sisters tore her up from the floor up, right? Because she, you know, she can't say and she'll back up down. So she just, uh, that's why she didn't want to give them a second chance to come out because sh this is her time to shine. And she feel like, uh-uh, y'all shined over me because y'all definitely got good uh, musical vocals and this, that, and the third. But I ain't finna give y'all no shine on my mind. No, 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 not on my platform. I'm sorry. Y'all got to go. Okay, the door is closed. <laughs> And she locked it with two dead boats. Okay. I like, uh uh. But yes, honey, Candy is not that well educated. But I, I want to say she's a little street smart here and there. But she just had a lot of people looking out for her and giving her a platform such as this tiny, uh, tiny hairs, T.I.'s wife. 
uh, passed up an opportunity to be on Bravo franchise Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm pretty sure she would be steadfast. Her and, her and Nene would be fast friends, I believe. I think they would be fast friends if she would have took on the... Uh, the the stick to come on and join the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, accepted the poll. I think T.I. was in jail at the time, and he, he wanted her to be at home watching them kids. And then he don't like people to capitalize too much over his fame and fortune, so he kind of want to put her where he wants her to be, and she kind of, like, solidified with that. Okay, so we, we know how they get down. So, but yes, um... No, Phaedra would so can do up and, 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 and you know, just tear her up from the, from, you know, you know what I'm saying? From the flow of, she would just go ring, run rings around, uh, Phaedra. I mean, Phaedra would run rings around Candy. So I can't agree with you. She, she can't mince words. And before you know it, she'll be trying to fight. <laughs> can you see? And they both on the same height, the, the height part. So uh, you girl, that'll be, ooh, that'll be pulling hair, wouldn't it? They would probably be pulling hair. But I wouldn't even really want to see that physical fight i would like to see the banter go on and the setups they do to try to stomp each other but actually fist fight that wouldn't be worth it because they, they're both short the best they can do is you know slap each other and probably you know hell have sex afterwards i don't know you know it's just yeah it's just like, it's giving me a, a negative picture in my mind. So, let's just move on. But, thank you, Nadine and Leo, for coming by, stopping by. Then, we got Jerry Hendrickson. Okay, she said, yeah, they should bring Phaedra back. Phaedra wrong. Did what she, Phaedra was wrong. Did what she did. But, then she, wait a minute. Phaedra was, well, she put Phaedra wrong, did. So, I'm thinking she said Phaedra was wrong for what she did. But, Candy had no problem making money off the sex dungeon. Isn't Candy getting her own show? That's what I said. That's what I said. Maybe they are going to bring Phaedra back. And, uh, Candy going to go on and do her spinoff. And, hopefully, it'll be as lucrative as, um, uh, and, and sustaining as well as, um, what her name? Kim Zoziak. So, uh yeah we wish her nothing but prosperity there uh but can it get she just like her hand in the money jar you know what i'm saying how you say you get your hand gets stuck in the cookie jar and you you won't let it go you just won't let it go and it's like candy won't all oh, she just want her hands her thumbs her, her toes and everything she don't want to let it go so she would have to be forced to leave in a sense uh uh, as in not being asked to return. And I'm telling you. Uh, girl. That would make good banter if she stayed. You know even if she was just part time. Or uh, they brought Phaedra in part time. You know what I'm saying. Woo yes. Bring Phaedra back. Bring her out. Bring her out. Bring her back. Yes. So Jerry Henderson. Thank you for stopping by love. Then we got Sunny Dillard. She says Candy Fields her voice can hire and fire. <laughs> With the with the fire emoji, honey, candy can't do nothing. Talking about don't check for me unless you got a check for me. That's so damn weak, weak and boring. Okay, she need to come with something better than that. Okay, woo, she need to come with something better than that because if Candy family didn't hold her up and talk going around saying this, that, and the third, Candy would have a storyline worth two cents. Her storyline would be worse than were well, worse. Uh, worse than what we see with Cynthia Bailey on each season with each episode. Okay, we can't have two dead bushes, two thorn bushes, two what do you call them? Uh, things when they ain't being uh, when they cut tumbleweeds is what I'm trying to say. We can't have two tumbleweeds, girl. We cannot. But thank you, Sonny Diller, for uh coming by. Then we got Angela. She just says Angela. Okay. Dad, thank you so much for what you have said about the bashing. You are so right. Thumbs up. We do have a right to speak our opinion. Yes, you do. All day, every day. Just be respectful. That's all anybody can ask from you. Don't let them take your voice from you, girl. Don't let them take your voice from you. Then we got Barbara Kesley. Kelsey. Kelsey, okay, she says, so Phaedra lied along with Portia, who should have been fired, could have cost Candy her business, Portia lied and said Candy wanted her, and it was Portia who 
wanted Candy. Could have gotten her locked up for the lies. And this is what Lowlife Nene wants and her fans wants. It shows what her fan base consists of. No, Barbara. No. Don't don't group us all in one box. But I understand where you're coming from, Barbara. And you're definitely right in having your opinion. I just disagree a little bit. That's all. Just a little bit. I have to say just a little bit, girl. But uh, all that I can say, people lie. It's subjective. You know what I'm saying? And on this Ratchet TV show, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, where it's supposed to be reality, but they give us a little, where they embellish a whole lot. Uh, and then they want to, you know, throw boulders out there for for us to digest and take part of. But then they're going to say, oh, that was I w- I'm not really like that. Or their followers will say, they're not really like that. they really nice people, this, that, and the third. But this is supposed to be reality TV. You're supposed to be showing us who you are, what you are all about, and how you get down. That's what I'm saying. So I, I'm having a hard time fighting or understanding people when they want to defend people's actions. And it's out there in Front Street. You know exactly what they're doing. But they're going to say, no, no, no. Don't look at that. Don't do that. No, if it's a car, it's a car. Okay. If you got four doors, two doors, it got an engine. I'm pretty much uh, solidifying it. That's just an automobile. Okay. I can ride in it or, and drive it. Okay. So it is, it is. Spade is spade. Liar is a liar. But can't people can be redeemed though. But in this show, they want it. They desire it. They look for it. So they're just stuck in this reality uh, foolishness foolishness and we're we're just as part to blame because we sit up there and watch it and giving them uh the revenue to continue to do ratchetness you see what i'm saying it goes both ways so you know you could call me a spade as well because i'm sitting up here uh doing videos on it you know voicing my opinion about what i'm seeing and some people feel like i should shut the hell up and, and sit down and watch it like everybody else and don't have opinion you know but i'm not like the followers okay i'm an individualist i kind of think out the box i think for myself and i definitely express my opinions okay do it respectfully sometimes I get down right nasty with it but you know it just is what it is it just depends on how you catch me on a given day okay but thank you thank you barbara kesley Kelsey, uh, with what you said about uh, it hurting candy business on what they said. But then you got to remember now, she turned on the flip side and made money off of this bad defamation of character idea that they brought up on her that was fake, fraudulent, fool of fuckery, and, you know, tomfoolery. <coughs> so... It, you you, can, you have to see it both ways, okay? But at the end of the day, you're going to have what you feel is right in your eyes. And, you know, the mass is going to either agree with you or disagree with you respectfully. Okay, but Mama, thank you, girl, for stopping by. And we're going to take this last one. Well, last two. Uh, and then we're going to conclude this video. I just wanted to shout y'all out. Because I'm telling you, I be reading y'all comments. And I can't read all of them. But I, I be reading them. And I be like, God, dog. They, y'all be tickling the hell out of me sometimes. Y'all talking about I be tickling the hell out of y'all. Y'all be, <laughs> I be waking up uh, with this be in my bed sometimes. My mama hear me hollering. She's like, girl, what you doing? You looking at TV? I was like, no, nah, I'm talking to the fam, mama. I'm talking to the YouTube fam. And then she going by her bed because she think I'm crazy anyway. But anyway, she see it's what it is. You know how family is real family you know your mothers and your daughters they don't you know get what you're doing and they don't see no rationality and, and then they pin their points of views and you know aim justified or warranted but it's just see what we is you my 80 year old mama i love her and it's just gonna be what it's gonna be okay but we got desi comfort or comfort she says i love candy but she does not bring anything to the show please bring fraser back <laughs> see that's what i'm saying we don't need a bone collector we had charade for a little minute and we brought her back she still wasn't doing what we needed so we had to get rid of her pretty much it's just the masses speak and bravo renders their decision but uh yeah and then i think charade she probably wanted more money than what they felt she was worth and that's probably why i think she even said it in some uh interviews that the low ball offer uh she was given she wasn't gonna take it i'm like honey pennies on a dollar pennies on a dollar girl but anyway she made her decision we accepted it so we moved on 
and uh, we got Tommy Caldwell. He said, "Preach. Good morning. Love your videos. I love you, Tommy, for stopping by, putting your two cents in, and watching my videos. Thank you, baby. Got Sun Ray TV. She's a YouTube content creator. Y'all go on over there and support her. But she says, "Hey, Dad, watch this on my live this morning. Thank you. Hugs and kisses to you as well, my love. Continue to grow your channel. Be prosperous, and you will be blessed. Okay. Speaking into fruition. It is what it is." Then we got S. Hutchison. She's also a YouTube content creator. Go over and check her out. Uh, she's just giving me all these wonderful praises. Uh, uh, well, uh, what do you call them? Praise hands. Like she always keep me in prayer. Um, and she's saying, you know, great video. Have a blessed day. Love her to the core. Uh, Boo Bear's back here. Bring back Phaedra. I know that's right. Honey. Bring bring her back. Bring her back. Anna Banana. Hey, Deb. I remember some of those songs you were singing. Stay safe. The streets are crazy. Yes, honey. Anna Banana. How are you doing? Uh, I missed you. Girl, you know, I be wanting you in the, the uh, chat every day. I really want to know what you're doing, how you're doing, what you're feeling, what you need, what's going on. You know, all those 50 questions. But just as long as you're commenting here and there, I know you're doing well. May God continue to bless you and others that are dealing with a lot of things, especially the coronavirus. We don't know if we're coming or going, okay? We don't know if we're coming or going because I was feeling some kind of way yesterday taking my rights from me. But that's all I had to, well, this last one, it says, Yuli H. Phaedra needs to come back and Candy can go. She has no substance. <laughs> Woo! Are we not tearing people down? Okay, but we just speaking our truth. We speaking our mind on what they give us to watch. So that's where I believe everybody's coming from. A good heart, good nature, a good place. It's just sometimes we can only stay in so much uh fake foolery fuckery fraudulent shitty activity behavior all at once sometimes we can't take it and we speak on it <laughs> no pun intended but yes we speak on it we make our opinions known okay over here at the family affair but that's all i have for these videos guys and if y'all like this video it is show and then i'll be shouting y'all out again with just a video for you and i to partake and for us to take part of what y'all told me in these comment sections but y'all be blessed i'll talk to y'all soon another video to come that i am going to bed okay but keep it breezy as my daughter always says and i will see y'all next video don't forget to subscribe like and share the videos good night